Hey guys, it's Jeffrey Gurian here for the Happiness Channel, bringing you your weekly video about how to achieve happiness in your life. And a lot of the information is taken from my new book on happiness, which hit bestseller status on Amazon. And it's called Healing Your Heart by Changing Your Mind, a spiritual and humorous approach to achieving happiness. And the reason I'm showing it to you up front is because I want to talk to, to you today about the meaning of heart wounds. What that means, it's not about heart disease. Um, heart wounds are a term that I coined to represent all the pain that we keep inside of us. From the time we're little kids, every time somebody hurts your feelings or breaks a promise to you or lies to you or breaks up with you in a relationship or does anything to hurt you in any way, it lodges inside of us, it stays inside of us in your heart chakra and I call them heart wounds. And these heart wounds they affect your self-esteem and your self-confidence and they affect every decision you make in your life because every time you have to make a decision you use your thoughts to figure out what to do and our thoughts are very affected by these heart wounds sometimes they were given to us by bullies by people who made unkind remarks about you and on some level even though we want we don't want to believe them we do and they stay with us and they give ourselves a negative image of ourselves. So it's very important to release those things in order to be able to accomplish goals in your life because it gives you the kind of negative thought that tells you that you can't do certain things, you can't accomplish certain things, you're not good enough, you're not this or that. It gives us limitations. And the concept is that those heart wounds need to be released. Uh, they're trapped in our cellular memory, which is a very fascinating concept to me. It simply means that every single thing you've accomplished or you've experienced, actually, since you're born is still inside of you. Everything you've experienced within your five senses. So it's the reason you can hear a song you like and it'll remind you of the boy or girl you liked in the third grade. And there's no thought involved. It just takes you back there automatically. Or you smell a perfume and you're like, wow, my kindergarten teacher wore that perfume. And it takes you back immediately. It's like a sensory deja vu. So all these experiences that you've had, all the painful experiences in your life, even more so than the happy ones, are ingrained, they're embedded in your cellular memory. And uh, we can work around them. You know, it's possible not to allow the trigger to elicit the same response because during the course of your day you'll pass things or people will say things that subconsciously remind you of some of these painful events and that's how heart wounds affect our present and so it's very important to work really hard to first remember what those heart wounds are to realize that they're not valid most of them were thoughts that were given to us by people who did not have our best interests at heart and for some reason we tend to believe them. We take, that, we take those thoughts in deeper than we even do positive thoughts and happy experiences. So a lot of the process is releasing the heart wounds and giving ourselves the freedom to realize that we're okay. You know, we're all good. We all have our strengths, we all have our weaknesses, but in general, we're okay. And we need to draw on that inner strength in order to accomplish our goals and to achieve a state of happiness. So I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope it's been informative in some way. And uh, I hope that you'll like, comment, and please subscribe to this channel because that's what allows us to do these weekly videos. Tell your friends, tell anybody you know who wants to be happy. And as far as the book is concerned, it's available on Amazon in three different formats, as an ebook, as a paperback, and most recently as an audio book for those of you who like to listen to your books. So I really hope you'll check it out. And again, see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the Happiness Channel. I really appreciate it. I hope you got something out of it. If you want to see more of our videos, please click on the boxes on either side of me. And don't forget to like, comment, and most important of all, please subscribe. That's what helps us to do more videos. I hope to be doing one a week. And in the meantime, I wish you another week of happiness, and I hope to see you real soon. Thanks.